Hey there. Thank you for watching this clip on using de Morve theorem to simplify a complex number. De Morve theorem is named after 18th century French uh, mathematician Abraham de Morve. He's a friend of Isaac Newton's. So basically, first thing we need to do is convert this one into a sine and a cosine. But sine and cosine is bounded by plus one and minus one. So first thing we're going to do is going to to take one to the eighth and then two to the eighth. The reason I'm doing this one is I got to convert radical three and minus one into sine and cosines. The value can be recognized by those two. Okay, so what I did is I moved this one inside because the exponential matches. Okay, from here it's relatively easy. The first term is a cosine function. Cosine is negative in quadrant two and three. Sine is positive in quadrant one and two. Okay, so obviously I have a quadrant two angle here. Okay, cosine is half, so my angle is pi over two plus a 30 degrees, which is pi over 6. So basically, I have a 7 pi over um, 3, 4. I have a 4 pi 6, 3, yeah. I have a 4 pi over 6. Okay, so let's get started. You go to 2 to the 8th, cosine 4 pi over 6, plus i sine 4 pi over 6 to the eighth. Okay. Now here's the theorem comes to Morve's theorem. Two to the eighth, leave it alone. And then I have cosine eight times four pi over six plus I sine of eight times four pi over six. Okay, so this eight gets absorbed inside the sine and cosine. So if you think about it, this is pretty clever. Two to the eighth. Okay, let's take a look at where this cosine angle is. Uh, 32 pi divided by six, it's really equal to five pi plus pi over three. Okay, so let's divide it by two here. You'll see this is 16 pi over three. So I have a 16 pi over three over here. Right. This angle is in the third quadrant because every two pi you go around and then come to the pi again, you're going to go another 60 degrees. So here is the angle. Okay. And this quadrant three, both sine and cosine are negative. Okay. So I have negative half for this one plus i radical three over two with the negative sign. Since there's two to the eighth, I'm going to use that. It's minus two to the seventh plus i with a minus sign, two to the seventh radical three. And two to the seventh happen to be minus 128, minus 128 radical three. All right, so that's the answer here. All right, well, hope this has helped you. This is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel. Together, we can conquer math. Till next time, have a confident day.